Good evening, getting back to the old skulls. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Sorry, I just helped out in this mine. Right, so I need to get to the next side quest. But I need a way shine. And I am printing a chest. Chest. It's actually a mimic. But it's in disguise. It's like one through some shit when Red Mountain went off, but no, there's oh, slimy Metronox here, so. I gotta go do a bus fight while I'm here. Didn't expect anyone else out this far. You another relic hunter? What happened with her mentor? With me? That wasn't Nevina. I came out here to prove her end. This is where I caught up to Navina. I begged her to come back, swore I'd make this all right. But I couldn't. She felt so heavy in my arms. The only thing she said, she whispered, kill me. I should have listened. Before I knew, my Navina was gone. Something changed in her eyes, made my blood run cold. I never even saw the knife. Managed to stop the bleeding. Be wary. I saw shapes in the ash, robed figures. That's not the blood loss story. I like cultists. The fish will fly stuff. That's a giant ant. God, I thought I was in a cave.
I got that one. Yep. These guys are here early. Knowing what I googled about Merlwind yesterday. It's fucking creepy. Demon of some sort. I better wait past my stuff. Damn it. Oh, that was close. them because I don't need anything from there. Shit, there's fucking five of them. I have got us some of the still my turn out down. Those goddamn traps.
at these fucking things. Frozen. Let me reassess. Go back up here. Right, I totally missed one. Damn it! Get all those. If that wasn't the only boss, I'm guessing, given the fact that I've still got I'm just gonna go up there with a few more people here. Past these guys, but oh well.
I hope he waits for me because he's going to need my help. Ah, oh, shit. I, knew, I had a feeling that was going to be there, but I didn't even fucking think. And that one, that was much easier with two people. You're not there first. He's gonna go down. Probably check this map. I didn't even know that that was there. Where did he go? It's the fell down. I can't help you.
Oh, there we go. I might like pick up by accident. Not a complete loss. I know I'm trying to come down and come across one of those before. That was new. But also cool. Wait. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. That was up there. Only wants to clear the whole bloody place. Yep, do this thing. Cool. Go inside. Damn it, hit the wrong button again.
Is he getting it? No, we just don't get that. Oh, well, maybe. His name? Oh, he's got it. Yes, he finally got there. on purpose. Ah, uh, fuck it. I'll come back and do that another time.
Okay, back at the start anyway. Did you find Nevina? Where? That's her diary. That wasn't Nevina. She died here. You fulfilled her last wishes. I don't know that I could have done it, even without the gut wound. Thank you for bringing her peace. When I'm able to fight, I'll find the truth. I won't let what happened to her happen to anyone. This will be a painful journey. But thank you for sharing these with me. Did... did they offer any truth in this madness? Any glimpse of reason? Bloodline? You don't mean... That's impossible. Disgraced house. That is not who she was. That is not who I am. It can't be. It was some spell the statue held over her. A curse or enchantment placed by these heretics. Ah, crap. I hope you're wrong. The truth's too ugly. If these cultists entrapped my sister, who else will they come for? It just made it off a little chest. But, um, might be wiser to turn back. there was handles on the sides that came off with the uh, support material. But, I'm fairly happy with the result, regardless. Destroy me, or wait for her to find me too. Oh, it's a lot to take in. Three watch over me. Ah, sorry, I'm just trying to clean up the plate a little bit so I can print off another one. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Right. You know what, I am gonna go back in and try and get a scar shot. So I did come to the top, but I didn't get a sky shot. Okay, uh, what were you?
Yeah. The sky shot is somewhere in here. I think that's it there. Yep, yeah, the day must have got shot last time. Somebody else thought this was an iron action knock. Uh, I should say, require, cool. Whoa, this place goes real far, real deep. So next quest. Where is it? 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 There it is. Huh. Huh. Maybe I have to take a boat there. Or at least it's better if I take a boat there. Oh well. Right off. I didn't realize they're actually doing these. I don't know, I've missed them. I don't like the way the mountain rumbles these days. We're headed to Sadrath Mora if that's where you'd like to go. Perfect. So I'll deliver these shrooms. Oh, I was wrong. That one tower wasn't a thing. So, um... It probably wasn't the wizard's place. This might be the wizard's place. A lot of places like it. One more late shipment, Vaudin. And you will never work in Vardentrell again. I'm terribly sorry, Master. It won't happen again. Ah, another useful idiot approaches. And what trifling matter brings you to me? I trust you're not here to waste my time. So Edra, I know, finally came through, did she? And she sent you in her place, no doubt because she believes I will turn her into a Vardvark. Or such nonsense. The things these commoners believe. If you're lying, you do so remarkably well. If you're not, it is of no concern to me. You will receive the same coinage either way. Take it and be about... an exciting life I mean. Right. Now.
What's up, dude? Mind your step. I would not want you to step on this random patch of grass. I jest, of course. The Telvanni forced me to work, but I make sure it brings them no pleasure. In truth, you would be helping many Saxlil, myself included. During my latest escape attempt, I met an amber beauty with eyes like summer rain. Her luchial name is Sun in Shadow, but I call her my... Seek her out in Tel Naga. If I know my heart, she will be sunning herself in the light of some book. Always be... Walk with Sith. I ventured too far from the Hist and did not heed the bird. Laws are slippery things. The Ebonheart Pact outlawed Argonian slavery, but how... I thank you for your offer. Mages, mostly. Members of the so-called Great House Telvanni. One of the four Great Houses of the Dark Elves. Yes. And... Alright, guys. Right, so this is a... Kind of happened to alive and accidentally stumbled upon a... Different... Thing. That's one quest. Ah, oh, love. How cruel the fates that keep me from my heart's desire and force me to lock away. Oh, what does an outlander know about the complexities of Dunmary love? Mm. But you're only trying to help. Mm -hmm. Maybe I do need a simpler perspective. Mm. How does an outlander convince an overbearing mother that the object of their affection is worthy? Of course not. Tywin is a slave. My mother's slave. I tried to buy her freedom. My mother laughed at the mere suggestion that I'd be allowed to sully our reputation with a noir bride. Perhaps an outlander's offer wouldn't rouse her suspicion. I don't expect you to pay, obviously. It's just that mother might reveal what it would take for her to release Tyrion if it was anyone but me asking. Knowing that might give me some idea of how to free my love. Tell her you've heard Tyrion excels at finding Red Star shells. Telvanni wizards prize them, and they're very rare. Most of the locals know that Tyrion is the best at finding them. Mother loves to gloat. I couldn't bear gazing upon Tyrion since Mother rebuked me. But now, I can't wait to see her lovely face again. I'll be down at the swamp where she hunts shells. Come find me once you've finished dealing with Mother. Dang. No. It's a prologue quest. Do that one later. Anyone else? I've got my eye on you. Yeah, yeah, shut your trap. Shadow. Yoki told you I have a plan to earn our freedom, right? She's a recently elevated Telvanni Magister. Not so set in her ways as the others and probably more likely to remember her early struggles. I'm afraid not. I traded in some favors to get a better idea of what she's seeking, but I learned very little. Apparently her mouth, Erevin Ontham, has some correspondence that might give us a clue. I need that letter. Oh, yes. House Telvanni has its warts, but it's a true meritocracy. With enough guile and cunning, even a lowly slave can... The Rana's been ranging the council, trying to get their help in claiming Zane Tararas from House Redrin. She wants something in that shrine. I aim to... Lead Cautious in the council. Truthfully, 
It doesn't. Not yet. Tell Bonnie plots take time to repair. Do I sense a rebuke? It's not ideal, I know. Ah, it was during one of his many escape attempts. I was cleaning Master Otheri's tableware when Loki burst through the kitchen door, dragging his chains. <laughs> he hesitated. <laughs> you don't see Mars slaves smile much. Certainly not when they're being chased by Nyx hounds. There's an old alchemist proverb. No reaction is ever so forceful as the Nixon. It is going to take forever to reach level 50. Well, a jewelry station here. There is, it's not on the ground floor. Master Erevan is away on business. Has been for some time, in fact. I know. No one just wanders into a council mouth's office looking around. I should report you. Ah, the one about Zane Tiraris, is it? Well, I could call the guard and be about my day, but I am a Telvani after all. We don't turn away an opportunity when it presents itself. It's a matter of literature, or lack thereof. I wrote a poem. You see, a cloying, drunken mess of a poem. The post delivered it to my darling Ethwin Dora just this morning. Mm. If you get it away from her, the letter is yours. She spends most of her time in the study, here in the council hall. She's very diligent, always leaning over one book or another. And the way she licks her thumb. The poem's terrible. Plus, if word got to my parents that I'd been courting a wood elf, I'd be written out of the will, repeatedly. With red ink. Why do you think Ethan Dora keeps it on her? She knows that if Master Erevan gets wind of this, he might dismiss me from his service. Give her me. She's such a pretty, dainty thing. Not at all like those other scrawny acorns. <laughs> I should distract her again. If 
I had a gold piece for every blue light. For a second I was alright, it was going to glitch and I was going to end up dead. I'm going to burn this embarrassment. I sure hope I didn't leave Master Erevan's correspondence. Good riddance to bad writing. Okay. <laughs> Probably should have read the letter, but oh well. Oh, that must be the dry box. There you are. I was afraid you'd been compromised. Nope. Were you successful? Yep. Did Anthem have anything worth reading? I hope so. May I? Ah, a saint's relic. Saint Felms. Never heard of him. Hmm. Says here the Redoran wants it too. To squirrel away in some musty old chapel. Looks like the shrine is locked, protected by some puzzle ward. Luckily, the letter provides some hints on how to break in. Solve the puzzle, grab the relic, then look somewhere between certain and apprehensive. But tell Bonnie respect our clever schemes and love to barter. This little intrigue will prove right. Tell Bonnie Magister. Oh. Mercenaries.
Alright. Head. Must be an order. Which is the right of day watch order, but. Family of skulls, how do you do? Two shot or one for each. Oh. Two, three, five, six. So two. Three. Five. And six. The door is open. Open at last. <laughs> Who the hell is that? Hey, they draw. These fucking things. No gem. I thought it was a poison. I mean, it might have been both, but I just think it was three of them. It was just the one asshole. Yeah, he will do it. Julia Key. Yeah, go ask John. I remember the Bubba Jack being taller. Uh, that's not ominous at all.
Mm. Half expecting to end up spiked. That was just confetti. I mean, it is unpredictable. I didn't call him the Prince of Madness for nothing. Oh. Too bad, it's just sad. What now? Oh. Me. Rosie, where are you? Come back, Rosie. It's like he's calling you cat. Regla. Another clumsy adventurer bumbles into my home. I really must put a hex on that lip. Sun in shadow. Oh yes, I know the lizard. An enterprising young mage, if memory serves. Don't look so surprised. Her magical ability... Do you now? Well, she's a clever one, isn't she? Even convinced you to do the work for her. Impressive. So, what does our scaled friend want in exchange for this relic? No, no, no. Give me a moment. I'm keen to guess. Oh, good. I was afraid she'd do something boring with her freedom, like run off into the marsh to worship trees or some such. Sun in Shadow shall have my endorsement. I'll give you a writ. Deliver it to my mouth, Erevan. He'll know what to do. Right. Shit. There. That should be sufficient. Now... Take that writ and be off. I have a relic to sell you.
kind of fucked up the only race they decided to enslave are the Argonians. I mean, slavery is fucked up in general, but like, that's particularly fucked up. something I'm rather busy at the moment oh let me see that submit to council Argonian slave freed services to house Telvani well well feel free to wait in the council chamber we will rule on this matter soon one other thing some of my personal correspondence went missing recently if that ever happens again the Morag Tong will hear of it I trust we understand each other. I'll give this to the council. I've imagined this moment since I was a hatchling. I knew I'd be free eventually. But now that the moment's here, I just hope I don't embarrass myself. They'll deliberate, needle each other a bit, then set me free. I only hope that they'll take me on as a hireling as well. I'll even get my own quarters. Can you imagine that? Not only my own room, a whole house to myself. My heart is racing. Yes, of course. I mean, eventually. We can talk about that later. Just let me bask in this moment, all right? Truly, I couldn't have done this without you and the Oki. A plan is only as useful as the people who carry it out. You have my deepest thanks, Sarah. Now, I suppose it's time. I uh, really don't like the way the back of the chest looks, but you can do for now. Well, well. What brings a slave to our audience chamber? I bring tidings from my august patron, Magister Therana. She would have your masters know that this slave, Sun in Shadow, has earned her favor. What? Magister Therana would lend her good name to this thing? Preposterous. What do you Last want? I don't be as tiresome as your master. Uh, can we move this along, please? Very well. Magister Therana, by right of rank, demands that the slave girl, Sun in Shadow, be freed from her bonds and raised up to a hireling of the Great House Telvani. She belongs to Magister Otherian, does she not? Indeed. My most beneficent patron, Magister Othiri, acquiesces to Magister Therana's demands. He is confident that Therana will remember this kindness in the future. Sun and Shadow, you are hereby freed and lifted up to the rank of Hireling. My most majestic patron, Magister Gosrin, warns you all. Lift up one of these beasts and a thousand more will follow. This is folly. If there's nothing else, I have urgent business in Telmora. You've done well, girl. Do come by in a day or so. I may have some work for you. A hireling. Can you believe it? I'll burn these rags, polish my scales, and work even harder. The next few days are critical. I can't afford any slip-ups. Magisters circle new hirelings like cliff racers. If they see any sign of weakness, not yet, no. Like I said, even the smallest mistake could spell disaster. It's still too early.
Yeah, I might need to pop this up in um on top of something so I can actually get a cleaner print. It's not way the touch points are so small. Nice, and all the touch points, like the terrible print touch points, will go. Lazy vermin. If you want to eat this week, work. Okay. Yes, mistress. She need to. Well, get to it now. Yes, mistress. Sorry, mistress. Welcome, Sarah. Sorry about the mess. Believe it or not, this place feels like a palace compared to my old slave quarters. With any luck, I won't feel... I'm glad you asked. Retrieving scrolls and relics, gathering up roots and mushrooms. That's what the Magisters expect from hirelings. Trust me when I say nothing stunts advancement like doing the expected. Real estate. Surprise. Good. Master Theorist been making secret inquiries, looking for land near Voss. Ioki knows a farmer who may be willing to sell his plot. If I purchase the deed and give it to Theorist, he might sponsor my next promotion. I know I could count on you. Here's the gold. I'll not pay a drake more than what's in that pouch. Mostly because I don't have a drake more than what's in that pouch. Ioki can provide more details. Or you can just ask around Voss yourself. Fantastic! I bought new clothes, see? And no more sharing a room with eight other people. This space belongs to me. It's mine. Best of all, I can stop hiding. I don't have to tuck my... Of course. Everyone works for the Magisters in one way or another. Hirelings occupy the lowest rung on the ladder. Aside from slaves, of course. But we can... I enjoyed more freedom than most, it's true. Most of the Marshborn slaves hated me for it. Called me smoke... I harnessed my ambition, served my masters with loyalty and discretion, and earned my freedom. They won. I told you before. Archmagister Othiri. None of the other magisters would have him. Too many escape attempts. Then there's the matter of magical aptitude. The Telvanni abhor hissed magic and make him wear suppression manacles all the time. Even in doubtful. Hissed magic doesn't operate by the same rules as Telvanni spellcraft. I think that's why the Magisters hate it so much. I can't say. From what I gather, he wants to build a new tower there. I've no idea why. Miss Jistrafa essentially owns Voss, and I can tell you she does not welcome intruders. If I was mad enough to antagonize one of the Magisters, it would not be Drafa. I'm just checking something. I only need him to survive long enough to sponsor me. 
He won't break ground on his tower anytime. Greetings. We must speak quickly. The Overseer's grown. I do. Otheri banished me to those farms for a time. I spent 30 days in the dry box and heard many things. A salt rice farmer named Barris Rendo grumbled like a sick crocodile. His wife called Voss a backwater sty. He would sell. She gave you gold? I thought... My heart told me that she gathered coin to purchase my freedom. She probably see. <laughs> Probably just used a um way shrine, but oh well.
Ah, another adventurer. If you've come looking for salt rice, you'll have better luck in the market. A slim harvest, you know, and... Oh, salt rice. <laughs> I always call it salt rice. Safen has gone missing, you see. You haven't run into him, have you? Wouldn't I? I gave up work as a financier in Balmora for a chance at the simple life. I, I love it here, but my wife... She struggles with the agrarian life. Yes, in an instant. Like I said, Nineveh's practically packed her bags already. If you bring back our boy, we'll sell. Safen's always been a thrill seeker. Probably got lost in that Daedric ruin, Esutanimus. You'll find it's called Esutanimus. Safen's taken an interest in Daedric history. A waste of time, if you ask me, but. I do admire his enthusiasm. We spoke about the shrine just a few days before he vanished. Apparently it venerates that monster, Molag Baal. I don't go anywhere near that place. We've got enough troubles here. Lean harvests, clumsy Telvani wizards, my wife Hen pecking me to death. No, I'll not invite some plague from the House of Troubles as well. Thank you, Suryo. Be careful, and three protect you. Amazing thought that was the flying things. Must be doing the same quest. Pity my misery. Where is it? Where is she? Him? Not again. Oh, God damn it. Someone without wings and razor sharp teeth. There's a sight. That's me, Sathan Rendo, explorer <laughs> extraordinaire. My parents are worried. Typical. My mother barely trusts me to push a broom, let alone. Every time I try to make my escape, they swoop down on my head. Not to hurt me, mind you. 
They just sort of tussle my hair with their claws and push me back into the ruins, cooing all the while. A daring escape. You'll have to slay them, eh? Pity. Of course, I did see them tear an ash. I like this kid. Nearby, so I won't shed too many tears. I'll make a run for it. We can meet up west of here towards Voss. Be careful. Matriarch is coming. Be careful. I'll run straight back to Voss. To me, you're getting as bad as mother. I'm not a child. Believe me, I'd rather be bagging our crop. But you know how your mother is. She won't give me a moment's peace. Fine, I just need a breather. There you are. Sorry to check up on you. I knew you had the situation well in hand. But Nineveh practically kicked me out. Attracted the attentions? <laughs> well, uh, never mind. I don't want to know. I'll miss this place. But Vec knows I'm not much of a farmer. I'm just glad I got to thank you in person. Your partner, Mirtis, already paid me for the... What? Oh, dear. The fellow was very convincing. Caught me right before I set out to find Satham. He wasn't much of a conversational... My favorite loose end. Time to tie it up. Not good. Someone's been interfering. Well, you're quite the negotiator. Jin Risa. Interesting. That envious hag never misses an opportunity to stick a thumb in Fierik's eye. Listen carefully. I need you to acquire. I suggest you use all available means. You can begin by searching the Adex Hall in Telnaga. I will warn you that the Adex Hall is not open to outsiders. You'll need to. 
Jinris has offered us a chance to double our winnings if we acquire the deed and embarrass her on the floor. Oh. Damn it, I need a hiding spot. I just went deeper. Oh no, I didn't actually. Went back in. Did you find the deed? I'd hate to think that clumsy. Oh, no, no. I can't do it myself. It's not subtle or even polite. If I tell Vani, I know I've asked a lot. Trust me, payment is forthcoming. Just offer the deed to Philip and tell him that Sun in Shadow would like his written support for elevation to the rank of retainer. Make it subtle. Just rest of it. By the time I get there, my bounty is gone. Or, um, I won't lose to the try get caught one or the other. Mr. Gothrim's private property. Keep walking. Oh, 
visitors? I have those Atronachs out there for a reason. Can't you see there's no room? Doesn't look very glorious. Never mind. What do you want from us? Did she now? How prescient. Quite impressive, wouldn't you say, Geralt? Yes, I thought so too. I'm Fuck my beauty, Stagoras. Quar-faced bumbler, Jinrissa. I suppose she wants something in return. These hirelings always... Ah, yet another social climber. How tiresome. Still, exchanging a simple endorsement for valuable property seems like quite the bargain. Very well, it's a deal. Uh, get out. Yeah, that dude's got a few screws loose, I think. So much to do. Yeah, that dude's definitely got a few screws loose. That swagger here at the greed to my excellent. I ran into Councillor Angharal just a moment ago, totally by chance, I might add. I asked her about the potential for advancement. She hitched it. Well, that makes two of us. I took no pleasure in spending all that coin, but as a retainer, I'll be able to double that sum before long. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a writ to deliver. Thank you again. Always, she is busy and in a hurry. She is always busy these days. I worry she flirts with the flames of the sun and does not know. My heart and I have barely spoken. She strains her spines both day and night, pouring through tomes and hatching her schemes. Her eyes are fixed on the next rank, and the next after that. I fear for her. A soul without rest grows dim as twilight. No, she has not. All to the good, I guess. A finless fish weakens the shoal. But enough about me. You, my friend, are a mighty swimmer. Seek her out in her stone-dwelling place, if I know my... Stay a while, won't you? Always pleasure to see you, Sarah. I'm glad you dropped by. I just received a summons from the council. Typically, I'd be overjoyed. After all, I just submitted. If a member of the house plans to spring a trap, I need to project strength. The councillors know you've assisted me in the past. If you appear before the mouse on my behalf, it puts the man. Thank you, my friend. Be careful. They try something stupid. They're gonna regret it. This there may also be magic users, but man, I'm pretty good. 
Mm, fellas, I'm a battle knight. Center representative. Such pretensions. Approach, Elsin. You may inform your benefactress, Sun and Shadow, that the Council has elected to reject her petition. Be sure to add that all further petitions will meet the same fate. Cats and lizards have no place in our great house. Honestly, Velasa. Don't worry, Velasa. The emissary will give Sun and Shadow a full account of this meeting. I have no doubt. There is no greater virtue than ambition, but I'm afraid Sun and Shadow's enthusiasm has rubbed it beyond the obvious. Your friend possesses a keen mind and great natural talent, but even the great house Telvanni is not above simple prejudice. The circumstances of her birth make advancement, frankly. I would counsel patience, but I have no illusions. Sun and Shadow will dismiss such advice out of hand. Her dreams can only be deferred for so long. Is there Yes. Relasa hates practically everyone, but she's <laughs> developed a particular distaste for Sun and Shadow. I can't tell if it's truly the will of Dothrin or just a personal vendetta. Both of them revile lesser races. Sun and Shadow will stand before us again. I only hope that it's for a promotion and not... words with me, have you? Well, let's get it over with. I merely speak for Musera Gothrin. His distaste for sun and shadow should come as no surprise. Beasts have no place in the house. I suggest she leave Vardenfell. Travel to Daggerfall or Wayrest and join the Mage's Guild. I, I don't hate them. I just see the truth of their nature. Argonians and Khajiit make wonderful servants. But to pretend they possess the same faculties as Myrrh, or even men, is absurd. Magister Gothrin is a... I wanna punch that chick in the fucking nose. Sorry, I grew tired. Oh, I see. But maybe I was too impatient. Requested it too soon. Of course it was Velasa. That pig has hated me from the start. Gothrin's not fond of Elgonians, but this is clearly personal. Would you act as my emissary once more? If you go, I'll answer what I can, of course. Most Telvanni magisters prefer to be left alone. They dislike and mistrust each other. So they appoint mouths to handle business outside their towers. Of course, the Magister's wishes and the Mouth's wishes often get tangled. Just trust me, it's better this way. If the Counselors had to deal with each other directly, there would be no peace in Vardenfell. You wouldn't jam a bunch of Aelids into a pen together. Me? I never said House Delvani was perfect. We take the good with the bad. When I sit on the Council, I... Yes, when I achieve the rank of Oathman, I should be able to purchase a slave. Right. And we'll toast to our success. That is what we do. A Telvanni mage doesn't have time to be troubled. Every day I learn. Magister Guthrin reigns over Tel Arun. I was just saying. The west of you. He has a sour reputation, but remains one of the most powerful. I'd be lying if I said yes. But if there's anyone who could get through to him, it's you. Guthrin keeps a few pupils. Henchmen, more like. You probably have to get through one or two before he'll give. I know I said this last night, but I mean, at this time, I might go to bed early and not bother reading in bed. Yeah. 
I mean, it was time. closed so piss off you little scamp you got nick spit in your ears tell our runes close yeah well i need a stiff drink and a good plow but you don't see me knocking on strangers doors belly aching about it magister gothrin's not seeing any visitors not today not tomorrow all right <laughs> beck said you really want to see him don't you all right fine fork it over flag Rick. Aaron, Giravel, I've had enough of your excuses. Relassa made your task plain. Find those thieves. I'm sorry, Magister. It will be done. Whatever it is you want. Talk to my cringing assistant. Ah, greetings. I I'm sorry you had to see that. Magister Gothrin is really quite charming once you get to know him. Honestly, he wouldn't have yelled. Ah, that. I I'm sorry, but Ralasa is determined to keep your Argonian from advancing. Typical. I should be mouth. Say, I might have an idea. The thieves Mathsera Gothrin mentioned fled the Shash Pilamath. Could you retrieve the goods? Spoken like a true Telvanni. If you bring the goods to me in Sadrath Mora, I'll take credit for their safe return. Ralassa's gone to great lengths to discredit me, you see. My Mathsera knows this. If I succeed, he'll see that I am the fitter servant. Mathsera Gothrin will undoubtedly promote me to mouth. Then, in exchange for your help, I'll support your Argonians. I can't wait to see the look on Ralasa's. Of course. Uh, what can we... A great many things, I'm sorry to say. They pilfered an ancient tome, a rare pendant, and a purse full of gold. No, of course not. I didn't mean to assume. Truth be told, I've always been a fierce but very quiet proponent of beast rights. If you return the tome, pendant, and gold... Well, I can't say for sure, but there's a good chance the missing slave stole Muthsera Gothrin's property before fleeing Tel Arun. Ropefish and other people smugglers sometimes accept magic items as payment. I'm sure I wouldn't know. My master has a kind and gentle disposition, but children sometimes need discipline, yes? You should know by now that Telvani alliances often start as fluid affairs. Yeah, those slaves aren't returning. I'll get the other shit back. Yes, Captain. It will be done.
Like this because I won't. God. Right, why is he working for that guy? The dude's an asshole. Okay. You stink of incense and hookah smoke. Did that beast go? We are not goods. Zashanti and her friends prepared to leave this cursed island. No more lashings. No more bit. Bright moments. This one thanks you, Walker. We stored Gothrin's trinkets in crates nearby. The smugglers will groan at their apps. Wait. What was that noise? It. Greetings, Outlander. Cedera Rolasa sends her regards. Gathering up these slaves on our own would have been exhausting. No, no, no. Damned cats. You lot are going back to tell Arun. Move out. You heard the captain. Get moving, Kerr. Huh? No, Darsha will not go. Uh. Don't Darsha. kick yourself over Rolasa outmaneuvering you. Of course, you didn't think she'd let that flat-headed Aerith out nix her, did you? Oh, and don't bother looking for those other stolen goods. My tr I kind of killed a lot of them right now. Farewell, Sun and Shadow. There you are. I'm glad you're back. I just had a fruitful conversation with our friend Aerith. Seems that I'm not the I underestimated Rolasa. I see that now. She played I know how it sounds. I take no pleasure in it. It's just an unfortunate necessity. Half the Telvani hierarchy arranged an opening at some point in their rise to power. If you deal with Rolasa, Aerith takes her place. It's the best place, Sarah. Honestly, 
She was a racist piece of shit, and she's a slave, like she supports slavery. So. I knew you'd see reason. Trust me, no one deserves this fate more than Relas. Thanks. So, the lizard thinks she can kill me? Come on then. I'll have her skin for gloves. After I deal with you, of course. I guess I'm gonna have to assassinate so much as just kill. Nothing to see here. It's done. It's done? Thank you, Sarah. Not many people would take a life for their friends. Yeah. At least I hope we're friends. Braver and a racist, who cares? Difficult to tell sometimes. Aerith and I spoke just moments ago. Aerith assures me that the council will accept my petition now. So yeah, I hope you will consider working with me again. I admit our handling of the Rolasa situation was stressful for both of us. I hope we can this may surprise you, but the higher I climb and the more powerful I become, the lonelier it gets. A true Telvani life. Uh oh. Is someone there? Help! Oh, thank the eight. To oblivion with these damned mages. No amount of gold. Sun and Shadow asked me to come measure her for a new dress. Soon after I arrived, a pack of Telvani thugs burst through the door and. Hello? Anyone home? Oh, script jelly. Too late. Yes, well, I came to warn Sun in Shadow, but it seems I arrived too late. Oh yes, he, in the extreme. Magister Gothrin promoted me to mouth, but he still grieves for Rolasa. And pity I didn't get here sooner. I thought perhaps with time his fury might abate. I'd make all haste to tell Arun if I were you. Mutsera go. You go on ahead. I'll wait here for a bit. Best. Oh. I'm sorry. Like it.
let's just check the fuck I did out. I should thank don't waste my time with flimsy pretense did you really think you could kill my mouth magister Otheri made a discovery some weeks ago a relic or some dwarven device perhaps he refuses to share the details so i am compelled to take those details by force steal his notes from tell not magisters care little for the limits of morality me least of all I try to avoid turning people into shambling masses of screeching tumors, but in this case, that depends on what information you retrieve. If it's useful, we can discuss the terms of the lizard's freedom. That's as much of a promise as you'll get from me. Be grateful. Looking forward to murdering you. By the wrong you've done me. Oh, please let me kill him. Please let me kill him. Sorry, I don't mean to be bloodthirsty, but like, fucking slavers, like... <sighs> and racist. I mean, that goes without saying. Sure, you weren't invited up here. Off you go. I mean, buying, selling, trading. What's this? I don't like uninvited guests. You are. I knew my ma. Well done. I think my master wants to speak with you himself. Ah! Well, it's about time. What? Fuck up. You retrieved the journal. That was cool. Ah, yes. This is Othere's journal. 
His penmanship has gotten even worse. So, it's a dwarven artifact then. A merged tonal prison? My, my, that. I said nothing of the sort. Jesus, are you alright? Could have gone worse. Ugh. Channeling spells always give. Oh yes, I mean, well, Sarah Gothrin expects unwavering obedience, but on the whole, it's been a delight. Hmm. I can't begrudge you that. Were I in your position, I'd probably need a good sulk too. Not that you're sulky or anything. Oh, you know what I mean. About as much as you, I wager. Quama nest there, tending to their eggs and what have you. It probably smells bad too. And it's more prints up. Well, the Zulkan Zul cave network strays very close to an ancient dwarven stronghold called Zanchant. Otheri's miners might have stumbled upon an entrance to the ruin. So keep an ear out for clanking. Ah, here we go. Hey, you need something? Sure is. You looking for work? Nah, you're the adventurous type. Only time you'll live to pick is to bash in some beastie's skull, am I right? <laughs> of course I am. What brings you out here to the arse end of nowhere? Well, it isn't locked. Go ahead and take a peek. Might want to keep it quiet, though. Don't want Oteri's guards spotting you, trust me. They keep things locked down tighter than my fat auntie's bodice. Sure, I've got a few minutes. Yeah, who am I kidding? I've got plenty of time. <laughs> what do you want to know? Other than Oteri's guards, we have cave ins every now and then, unruly slaves and such. Then there's Mazanchent, but I'm sure you're not interested in that. Ash, get in your eyes on the way here. You can't miss those gloomy old dwarf towers. The way I hear it, Mazanchen ruins cut right under the mine. Plenty of treasure down there just waiting to be plucked. Damn. What 
least I've heard, anyway. Half the rings are too fragile, anyway. Oh. That one's slightly better quality, but not my much. Cool. Two little chests. Of King Mogmar. And keeping an eye out for Magister Oteri. You know these Telvani, always barging in without warning and throwing their weight around. Come to think of it. Yeah. Well, honestly, I mostly just act like a stuck up dark elves, ash storms, slave labor pushing down wages. What's not to like? Eh. Up there's hiding spots. Soon the slaves will ignore me.
crazy machine, eh? Think mm -hmm. you find it quickly enough? Okay, some sort of way to open the door. <laughs> I knew you weren't interested in Guama Caves. One of those black hearted magisters sent you to filch this thing, am I right? I've got a proposition. I can tell you what little I know and give you a key to Mzanchen. In exchange, you give me any notes you find in there. Anything about how it was built, what it does, anything. Got a nice offer from an interested party. Well, that does make things easier. Gold's gold, right? So, Terry locked the crystal in place and took certain parts of the machine so no one else could turn the damn thing off. We need those parts to turn off the machine and get the crystal. The parts you need are somewhere in Mizancha, but I'm not sure where. I spent a lot of time watching Oteri. From what I can tell, you'll need a crank, a spur gear, one of the smaller pistons, and, uh, uh sure. I... Prism? Oh, right. Now I see it. I guess he found it in the ruin, yeah? All kinds of dwarven antiques in there, along with the parts you need. I think he hides the piece. Sorry, but I skipped school the day they taught dwarf machine magic. <laughs> Got no idea, friend. Though I could hazard a guess. Looks a little like my pa's old jaw harp. So maybe it makes a rascal like me has to look out for his own end. Don't let some dwarven trap slice you up, eh? <laughs> Probably wasted that. Weird. I'm gonna attack as soon as I pick. Oh no! Got kicked out. Doesn't matter. I'm not losing anyway. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching it on Twitch, uh, please consider following. Um, I will be back on tomorrow night for some more Elder Scrolls. Um, but yeah. Till next time. See you later. Bye. Oh, actually, before I go, uh, these. Uh, two little uh you can't really see it properly but you can see that there's like a distinct lock oh hold on almost focused it's got like little legs anyway uh so i will see you tomorrow bye